So we have all seen or heard of the movie The Princess Diaries, which is about an average American girl who discovers that she is actually the Princess of Genovia and she gets a complete life makeover. Well for today, I am going to be Princess Jessica of London as I live 24 hours under the British royal family rules in the castle. Now I don't know what to expect, but if it is anything like the Disney movies, you can count me in. After three plane flights and pretty much flying all day, I'm definitely ready to go to bed. It's super late. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what my room looks like. This looks amazing and it looks so comfortable. Oh, it is comfortable, it feels really good. And they left this little note here with my last name on it and it says, Welcome, thank you for choosing to stay here at the castle. Please let us know if there is anything we can do to help you enjoy your stay. Sincerely, Butler Grant. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to, to sleep in it. And there's this vanity set, which literally I feel like was made for me because I love the hat, I love the color of the flowers, and this is just a dream, so I cannot wait to do my makeup in here. I wonder if this is actually like really, really old. Oh. I was hoping we could see the view, but you can't because it's super dark. But we'll see that another time. And this room is so cute. It's very shabby chic. It's got like this cute little like floral, like a floral theme going on. There's flowers on the wall. There's flowers on the pillows. I love this. It's so me. And please tell me why this is what I look like without makeup. <laughs> like this is literally a painting of me at 6 a.m. And. This is the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm living for this floral thing going on. It's very vintage. I'm obsessed. And they drew a bath for me. Are you serious? They literally drew me a bubble bath. Like, that is, <laughs> that's amazing. It smells delicious in here, actually. And there is this drink that's waiting for me. I actually wonder what flavor it is. Fruit punch, perfect. <laughs> I can't wait to take a bath. That's actually the first thing I'm doing because I feel gross after flying all day. Definitely, definitely need a bath and to go to, to go to bed because I have a super busy day tomorrow. I'm really, really nervous. I don't know what to expect. Um, and hopefully I don't fail at being a princess. But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead actually and pack, take a shower, and then go to bed because your girl's exhausted. So sleeping on that bed was honestly the most comfortable thing ever. It was like sleeping on a cloud, being held by little angels, but I was not ready for the alarm clock, a live alarm clock of a trumpet quartet. training course but I don't have that kind of time so what I did instead was gather information from the Queen's actual ex-butler who filled me in on what the rules were and I just memorized it the day before rule number one makeup and hair the royal dress code states that you are only allowed to wear natural colors on your face and your hair must be in a natural frizz free style
dress code was quite long, but in a nutshell, you're not allowed to wear any nail polish, and if you do, it needs to be a light pink. You cannot wear any black unless it is for a funeral. Your dress has to be knee length or longer. Pantyhose must be on at all times, and your shoes have to be two to four inches tall unless they are flat. Breakfast at the castle was at 8 a.m., and I was already three minutes late. Classic me, and I'm already failing at being a princess. So I went downstairs to the breakfast room as fast as the princess was allowed to walk, aka not fast at all because you're not allowed to rush. And I ate my first royal meal of the day. Highness, this is our potato hash. This is our garden frittata. And this is our chicken and Belgian waffle. Oh my gosh. And the nice part about this is our potatoes and our onions and our peppers for our potato hash is completely from the garden. Our garden frittata, everything you see on here is completely from the farm, including the eggs. And then our chicken and Belgian waffle is made with local milled flour, uh, chicken from Butler Farms, and local blueberries. Wow, so everything here is farm to table. Like yes. literally, it's not just a little thing, the whole thing. Yes. Looks amazing, so you did a wonderful job. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. All right, so the first step, the napkin. So I remember I was supposed to take it off from the side and oop, touch these corners. And then have the seam facing forward. All right, so let's try this out. Let's taste it. I'm excited. Oh my God, I'm not supposed to make noise. Failed. That's okay. Moving on. Ooh. Eee. Ah. <laughs> Fancy. Now, table etiquette just does not stick to me. I have tried my hardest to memorize everything, but there was just too much to memorize. How was everything for you, dear? It was so good. I loved all these bursts of different flavors and especially the cinnamon that's what sold me because i love cinnamon so this was such a good meal i'm so excited about it we're very happy that you enjoyed it and here is a letter from her majesty the queen oh, oh thank you her majesty the queen requests you to make an appearance and a donation at a nonprofit organization of your choice at 3 p.m yours faithfully butler grant now, I was so excited when I was told that my main job as a princess was to do charity work because like that's already a goal of mine, but I had so much free time until then, so I spent my time exploring the castle. Over here, across the castle, we have a garden and also baby goats, which is exactly why I am going to tread all of this in heels, because the goats are worth it. <laughs> so, oh, it's actually closer than I thought. I am so excited. Oh, this is so hard. 
<laughs> my heels keep digging into the dirt. Woo! <laughs> I don't know how duchesses and princesses wear heels at everything they do, because this is not easy at all. It's quite painful. Oh. Whoa, okay, this garden is gorgeous. And this is where all the food comes from. So I'm really excited to see what they're growing, but more importantly, the baby goats. That smells delicious. And then there's this huge carrot right here in the dead center, <laughs> which is perfect. It's really well made. I like how, they oh, I hear the goats. I hear the goats. I'm coming, baby, I'm coming. This is like the highlight of the castle. <laughs> above the nice chandeliers, above the amazing food, above the amazing room, the goat is the best part of the castle. Hey. I know. Me too. I know. Just gonna go check on the babies. Hi. 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 Aww. Oh, that's a perfect name. Fern. Your daddy is great. <laughs> Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi. 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 You want more pets? Okay. I gotcha. Her horns are gonna be growing in for a while, so it's gonna get real itchy for her. I know, it's like when you get, you know, your little baby teeth and they start itching on the gums. It's kind of the same thing. Hi, hey, sweetie. Perfect. Oh, that was so much fun. And they're quite clean, my fingers are Spotless. <laughs> so as you're saying that the students that come in and volunteer, which are in that tent over there right now, are the ones that are maintaining the garden and the animals, which is, there goes my heel, which is great. <laughs> um, this kind of reminds me of high school. I used to do the same thing. We had a little farm in the back and we would take care of goats and pigs and also plant a lot of stuff. So this really brought me back. It was a really cute little touch. Now we're going to go back to the castle. I think I'm going to go hang out in the study room just because I need to pass the time. Ooh, I need to pass the time. I've got a couple hours before I have to go to the charity that uh, I chose and um, I can't use social media to pass time. So I think I'm going to go to study and either learn something new or read a book. We'll see. of reading this book, it was time to leave off to my charity of choice. I decided to choose the Woodford Animal Shelter because I have always loved animals growing up, so as an official princess, I am now the royal advocate for animal rescue and conservation.
we are here today at the Woodford Humane Society with Beth. Hello. And she's going to give us a little insight on what this place is, what you know, what they do, and uh, what they need, and get familiar with you guys. So. Yeah. So um, we've been here for a long time. We're in Versailles, Kentucky. We're totally funded by donations. Um, you know, one thing that since we have Woodford in our name, a lot of people tend to assume that we're a, a county uh, organization. We're in Woodford County here in Versailles, for anyone who's not familiar. <laughs> um, but we're not. We're a totally private organization. So everything that we do here is funded 100% by donation. Well, that's awesome. Well, today we have a lot of stuff. We brought you know some fun stuff and that's also some necessities so we're gonna go ahead and bring that in right and then hopefully play with some puppies. yeah we're just gonna take a walk through and take a look at everybody here um, we have our kennel on the right and our cattery on the left um, we're very proud to have oh mango's coming back in we're very proud to have these uh, dog rooms a little more space a little bit homey mm -hmm. but no matter where the dogs live here uh, we make sure everybody has a bed a corunda bed to lift them up off the concrete and then um, like a big fluffy blanket or a pet bed that you'd buy at the store, mm -hmm. um, something to make it comfortable. We know we're not home for everybody. It's really a temporary situation, mm -hmm. but we want to make it as comfortable as possible. Right. So, same thing for the cats. <laughs> you can see everybody has plenty of spaces to just hang out and climb and jump and get cozy. Um, one thing we also provide for everybody is a scratching pad. Uh -huh. um, it's an important part of cat behavior, so we want to make sure that they can do that. And it also is an important part of keeping them comfortable. Um, cats have scent glands in their paws, mm -hmm. and one of the ways that they say, this is my house, is by scratching. So when they have that that they can keep with them, mm -hmm. it makes them feel a little bit more at home the in the time that they're here. That's amazing. Hi. Oh, you a fat one. And it's going to be really noisy. <laughs> so we're warning you. <laughs> we have dogs of every breed and age here. You'll see puppies, you'll see big dogs, you'll see little dogs. At the end of the day, it's really about the people who end up surrendering the dogs more than it is about the dogs themselves. Right. A lot of people tend to assume that dogs in shelters or cats in shelters are here because there's something wrong with them. But most of the time, it's something that didn't go right with the people, not with the dog. What do you think, Toby? Do you want to give him a treat? Yes, I do. Here you go. Do you want a treat? Oh, a treat? Right? yes. Yeah. Everybody wants a treat. Oh. So I'm going to squish my nose oh, up. You're so cute. Well, Toby's one of my favorites, too, but there's someone special I want you to meet. His okay. name is Kimchi, and we're going to get him out and see if he wants to play with us. Oh, yay. I'm so excited. Okay. So we actually have 13 of these yards. Mm -hmm. um, we like to make sure that everybody gets as much exercise as possible. Um, it's good for the dogs, mm -hmm. and it's also good for helping them get adopted because if they have the opportunity to get out and run and like burn off some of that energy, they're gonna behave a little bit nicer when they're inside. Right. So it's good for everybody. You. Ah. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting rowdy. <laughs> Are you good boy? Oh, look at you, you're so Ooh, oh, you gotta bend your knees. <laughs> I can't believe he wants to run. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for the tour and for letting me play with the animals. What are some ways that people can help donate in person and online? A lot of people like to volunteer. If you can't have a pet at home and you just want that chance to have, spend some time with some really sweet animals, this is a great way to do it. Um, we do have volunteer orientations once a month, so if you're local and you want to come hang out with us, uh, just send us an email and let us know. We'll get you hooked up. And then, of course, sometimes there are special projects that we need help with. Um, right now, we are trying to fund a brand new industrial washing machine, um, which is a big project. It's about a $15,000 price tag for that, which, of course, is not something we can normally afford. Um, so we are asking for people's help. If you want to give to something specific, um, even a couple bucks, five dollars, makes a huge difference for the animals here.
as you guys can see here, anything from here or on their wish list online on their website, yes. you can see exactly what they need. Um, follow their Instagram. I'm also going to be leaving a link down below where you guys can donate and check out their website and their adoptees. We're at Woodford Humane on everything. <laughs> The animal shelter was just so much fun. I almost walked out with like 10 new pets. I loved everyone that was there and I did not want to leave, but I was only scheduled to be there for exactly one hour, so I had to go. So when I went back to my room, everything was already tidied up for me, which was so nice. And on the bed was this pink, gorgeous, long gown with gold shoes and my very own princess tiara. And on the side, there was also this white note, which was an invitation to go to the royal banquet that evening. So the royal night dress code is quite similar to the dress code for the day, but the only difference is, is that you have to wear a floor length gown, also, you have to wear the royal family jewels and tiara as a status symbol to show you are unavailable to the gentleman. I'm happily taken, so that is why I was allowed to wear the tiara. Otherwise, you would attend with just the royal family jewels alone, no tiara. So the royal banquet was honestly a total dream. I got to make a lot of awesome new royal friends and the food was deli like the best food. It was so delicious. And by then I was exhausted enough to go to bed, especially because the next morning I had to go back to being a normal person. <laughs> successfully completing the 24-hour challenge as a princess, the real question is, would I actually accept the role of being a princess? Now, there are pros and cons to my experience. Starting with pros, one, your main job is to help people, like that is such a goal of mine, and also you get to attend these awesome royal engagements as well. You get to live in an amazing castle that's completely taken care of for you. Um, it's just very, very relaxed and just what I would imagine my dream life to be like. But there was also a few cons. The first con is you have to speak in a very soft-spoken demeanor, which is totally not like me. I'm extremely animated and it's very hard for me to be calm. <laughs> and on top of that, every time you do charity work, it has to be photographed by the press. And that I also wasn't really crazy about. I prefer to do charity work in private. Um, so those are the big cons for me. But all in all, weighing the pros and cons, I would absolutely say yes. I would definitely take on the role of being a real life princess, mainly because again, your main job is to help others and be a patron and advocate for the things that you care about, and that's literally my main goal in life. So that outweighs any possible con that there is, and I see myself being pretty happy as a princess. Now before I go, I wanna give a huge warm shout out to the castle that made this entire video possible, and that is the Kentucky Castle. Thanks, Jessica. So I just wanna tell everyone just a little bit about the castle. So first off, we are a boutique hotel with 13 rooms, we are a farm to table restaurant, event space in our bourbon hall. We have our parlor, our rooftop, a space behind our ballroom. And then we also have a temperature controlled green room. So if you're wanting to do anything in the winter or the summer, you're gonna be comfortable the whole time. So we are pretty much our own self-contained city, I feel like. 
this own little castle. We have all of our gardens that we take fresh from the garden and bring it to our restaurant. We have local farmers around here that we also work with to keep everything Kentucky proud and fresh. Uh, another great thing, we have our own local bees on property, so all of our honey is all fresh and from our own aviary. And then we also have goats, little pygmy goats. You can fit them in your hand, they are adorable. So you will hear them on property and you might even see them for goat yoga even. Now, another big thing we're trying to do is just make it to where people can feel like they're a queen or a king in a castle. So as I pointed out, those chalets, those are actually two-story rooms where you feel like you have your own personal castle. Uh, you have a little kitchenette space and living room downstairs, and then as you go upstairs, you have your king-size bed, bathroom, and a personal balcony. So you can look over everyone and just see the space as it is. Now we have courtyards all over the place. We have little uh, ponds out here with koi in there. Just pretty much everything you could think of, we have here at the castle. Now, if you guys want to make reservations or try to see any of the events that we have going on, the best way to do that is to go to KentuckyCastle.com and you can find everything on there. If you're looking for tours, hotel stays, the restaurant menu, everything is going to be on there. Or if you just want to talk to someone, you can always just call the front desk and you can always just ask any question you want and we can get you guys all taken care of. Well, that's pretty much it as far as the castle. We keep improving more and more and we're even gonna get a spa coming out and who knows what's gonna happen. Maybe a log cabin or maybe a teepee, who knows? Well, back to you, Jessica. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a royal thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Share it with your friends. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I post and I'll see you guys in the next video.